बिस्मिल्लाम विद नेम ऑफ अल्लाह अलवाई थी द मोस्ट बेनिफिशियंट द मोस्ट मर्सीफुल कॉफी में सी ओ बेसिकली एक एपिसोड है जो कि एक ऐसा सर्विस है बाई सी ओ क्लब पाकिस्तान सी ओ टू डे मैगजीन जिसके दो बुनियादी मकासद हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव हैं फर्स्ट इज़ इंस्परेशन एंड सेकेंड इज़ अ डायरेक्शन हम क्या करते हैं कि बड़े बड़े जो खूबसूरत किस्म के हाई प्रोफाइल्स और और जो जो थिंक टैंक्स लीडर्स हैं थाट लीडर्स हैं उनको हम पिक करते हैं और ये एक हमारा एक चैनल पर यह प्रोग्राम ये चलता है और बाद में ये हमारी हंड्रेड सीज की बुक में फीचर भी होता है तो आज की जो शख्सियत है वो हमारे बड़े ही पुराने जानने वाले दोस्त हैं हसीब गर्देजी साहब जो कि मतलब एक पूरी इंडस्ट्री में हॉस्पिटल इंडस्ट्री में एक बहुत बड़ा नाम है जिन्होंने अपनी ज़िंदगी में कम अज़ कम बीस प्लस ईयर्स बल्कि ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स प्लस सर्व किया है इस इंडस्ट्री को हाशि ग्रुप के साथ अटैच हैं यहाँ के चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर हैं इसके अलावा ये चेयरमैन है पाकिस्तान होटल एसोसिएशन के और जो आज का जो क्वेश्चन है जो आज का जो टॉक होगी कन्वर्सेशन होगी इसकी बुनियादी हमारे जो फोकस होगा चैलेंजेस के ऊपर उसकी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ के ऊपर और जो कोविड के हवाले से जो चैलेंजेस आए इन्होंने कैसे वो अपने इसको बर्दाश्त किया और कैसे इस अर्थ को एक को ओवरकम किया सर वेलकम सर हसीब साहब जी थैंक यू वेरी मच हसीब साहब मुझे ये बताए कि सबसे पहले तो कोविड से क्या सीखा वट आर द की लर्निंग देखें जी कोविड से पहली तो की लर्निंग ये है सबसे दैट यू नीड टू बी रेडी फॉर एनी चैलेंज वेदर इट इज़ मैन मेड चैलेंज इट इज़ अल्लाह की तरफ से आई वो यू नीड टू बी योर यू नीड टू बी रेडी एवरी टाइम फॉर अ चैलेंज इन द बिजनेस इवन डिज़ास्टर सो पहला तो ये है कि बहुत सारे बिजनेस ने देखा कि उनका बिजनेस कॉन्टीन्यूटी प्लान है कि नहीं अलहमदिल्ला हमारा बिजनेस कॉन्टीन्यूटी प्लान इन प्लेस है जिसकी वजह से हमें जो है कम वो अच्छा फिर क्योंकि हाशू ग्रुप में मैं बिकॉज आई एम एंगेज विद हाशू ग्रुप एज अ चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर तो हमारा क्योंकि वी आर द बिगर कंपनी तो वी आर प्रॉब्लम वाज बिगर आल्सो वी हैव एक्चुअली फोर टू फाइव थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉज दैट दैट उसके ऊपर आ गया आपकी पर्सनल फिलोसफी चेंज हुई लाइफ में जो आपने एब्सोल्युटली लाइफ में फिलोसफी ये चेंज हुई कि घर में एक भी गाड़ी ना हो तो जिंदगी चल सकती <laughs> yes. है आप yes. आप पूरा साल एक शर्ट ना खरीदें तो आपको कपड़ों की कमी नहीं होती जूता आपने नहीं खरीदा तो नहीं खरीदा और इट इज़ ओके कि घर वालों के साथ टाइम लगाएं ज़रूरी नहीं है कि मतलब है कि जब कोई प्रॉब्लम घरेलू आए तो आप स्केप होके तो दफ्तर चले जाएँ अभी दफ्तर कोई नहीं घर में आप बैठे हैं सो इट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी कनेक्टिंग एंड द गुड थिंग इज स्पेशली पीपल हु आर बिट बिजी at least i came to know about my kids their habits uh, how they spend time uh, before uh, 6 pm in the morning also from 9 to 6 pm ghar kis tarah chalta hai khane kis tarah bante hain bacche kis tarah wo karte hain so shuru shuru mein it was a challenge ke jab main ghar mein jata tha to har cheez set hoti thi but jab abhi main ghar mein baitha tha to wo bistar bhi abhi nahi bane khana ban raha hai to uski bhi smell aa rahi hai to ye wo cheeze thi जो सुबह नौ से छः बजे के दरमियान होती थी बट वी वर नॉट वेरी मच श्योर एज टू वट सो देर वॉज अ रिकनेक्टिंग टाइम विद द फैमिली लुक एट द मदर नेचर इस्लामाबाद इस्लामाबाद एक्चुअली गॉट एप्सल्यूट क्लियर हवाएं साफ हो गई पोल्यूशन खत्म हो गई ये तो वॉज अ पॉजिटिव पॉइंट बट सर मुझे जब ये बताइएगा कि ये तो आपने बहुत ज़बरदस्त अपने किया इसको मैं अगर हसीब साहब के सवाल के जवाब को अगर मैं एक समराइज करूँ तो कहते हैं कि जो लिविंग इज वेरी इन एक्सपेंसिव बट लाइफ स्टाइल इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिवली करेक्ट सर मुझे हसीब साहब ये बताएं कि हसीब गर्देजी एक छोटे सा शहर पाकिस्तान का मुल्तान से बिलोंग करते हैं और गर्देजी एक माशा लाइक आपका एक पूरे एक फैमिली है सर एक बैकग्राउंड है सर कैसे जर्नी शुरू की है क्या चैलेंजेस फेस किए कि आज हसीब इतने बड़े ग्रुप की इतने बड़े और इतने बड़े एसोसिएशन को लीड कर रहा अच्छा देख, देखें इसका इसका मेजर क्रेडिट जो है ना मेरी सक्सेस uh, का वो तो इट गोज टू माई मदर माई मदर बिलोंग टू अफ्यूडल लॉर्ड फैमिली जहाँ पे खातन को एजुकेशन मैट्रिक के बाद स्कूलों से कॉलेज नहीं जाने दिया जाता इवन दर्जी भी घर आते हैं और वहीं पे सारा कुछ होता है बिकॉज शी हैड लॉट ऑफ लव फॉर एजुकेशन बट शी वॉज डिप्राइव बिकॉज ऑफ द कल्चरल बाउंडिंग इज नॉट माई मदर ऑल फैमिली वॉज लाइक दैट आई मीन दे वॉज अ माई मामू एंड माई नाना हैड दिस टांगाज एज अ उस वक्त जब गाड़ियाँ नहीं होती थी तो देर वॉज अ ब्लैक कर्टन ऑन इट सो दैट वीमेन गो ऑन जर्नी और एनी थिंग सो बिकॉज शी हैड लव फॉर एजुकेशन एंड शी वॉज डिप्राइव she made sure that when when we were born and uh, she had an access to her independence through my father my late father allah unne jawari rehmat mein jagah de was very forward thinking educated man so lucky my mother was that she find a person like my father and then she made sure 
then she went all out despite alhamdulillah we were blessed uh, with uh, bread and butter mutawassit hisab se hamara bread and butter bada acha tha bada wazadari thi but she made sure she made sure that my elder brother become an engineer and she made sure that i get education my younger brother went to army my sister got uh, a masters in statistics so she was the one driving force behind wow. our education behind our being culture my father was a very well traveled man so some style and some uh, dressing and and things like that came from him so we were blessed because number one multan and bahawalpur the people are yes. very dynamic very very dynamic this particular matti has got something in it you go any places you will find that people from these uh, areas are mashallah well placed within within organizations and they are very loyal to what they do i think sometime i feel i'm more loyal than the king itself because i run this company of hashu group like it's my own if anything goes wrong it pains me like it was my own and if anything happens i feel happy like like it's own and thank you to hashwani saab and murtaza hashwani for placing that trust because if you don't place a trust into the people you can't grow i think the most credit goes to them for placing a trust and allow me to grow and allow me to do things which which they agreed to continue to do that so thank you very much i owe this to them because they do allow you an environment to flourish they give you that environment to thought process continues and they also give you delegation to get it through so what are the key uh, uh, success factors of asif for this is journey key three three key factors um first uh, that um I have no jealousy in me. I think I, that's that's something. For example, if I see anybody grow, I feel happy, and I think care, care and grow has been uh, the principle of my life. I have, I and the other the other key factor is that my intentions had always been pure. I could make a mistake, but I never intend to make a mistake. So intentions have been very very important. And number, the top among is the faith. Faith, faith in Almighty. that risk comes from him uh, success comes from him and it's not that you don't once you become successful you become uh, arrogant or anything you still need to be the same hasib that was in matric or in fa or in ba of course it it changes with the time uh, your demo over changes all that but your humanness your yourself should never change because it's a natural self that actually make you grow hasib uh, uh- Share with us, especially the uh, COVID came, and especially its impact on business and economy, especially uh, travel, tourism, and especially the hospitality industry, especially the small medium enterprises totally they were hit by the the COVID. What the challenges in general hospitality industry because because that you are the chairman and and particularly the Hashu Group. What the impact? Okay. Um, as far as Pakistan hotel industry is concerned, we have we have lot of challenges. one of the challenges was that when the revenues are not coming and the cash flows are drying up for especially for a smaller organization it was very difficult yes. for them be it restaurant be it hotels to sustain uh, employment and 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 to make sure that they continue to pay then there were many many allied services which are attached to the hospitality for example there was a glass cleaner there were people who used to do fumigation they were the supplier for chicken and mutton and all that they all started getting affected because all of the sudden there was no cash flow there was no customer there was nothing to do that so that was a ripple effect in an economy where where everybody started losing job i must say one thing because as a as a as a chairman pakistan hotel association i do work lot uh, with the with the tourism industry with mr zulfi bukhari and under the guidance of the prime minister and all that government has literally done few things for making sure the hospitality and the tourism sustains ek to they came up with immediately the state bank would give you the money please don't lay off people continue to pay them and then you can pay uh, in 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 years with with a much uh, lesser interest and and um, installments so that was a great initiative by them um then the other thing is obviously uh, uh, the other challenge is was to maintain the properties for example you still get the electricity bills you still have to make sure the water is running you still want to make sure that your backbone of the equipment does not get destroyed because when you stop uh, uh, them for a longer period it becomes very difficult to reenergize then the situation was also that the government had to close down 
few organization and hospitality and restaurant was one of them that we were under a lock, lockdown situation. But the, the, the good thing that happened after we get that Pakistan has a basic reliance on domestic market. Okay. We, are, we do not have a reliance or much reliance on international market. Even today, our 90% of the business is, is domestic. Domestic businesses, domestic travel, domestic uh, um, uh, corporate companies and all that. So that's why we feel that the revival within Pakistan in hospitality and tourism is faster. I'm not saying it is there. It's faster than any other part of the world. Even today, then, we must also give credit that the cricket uh, activities started. Government did not hold on to them. The PSL is happening and then... Uh, 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 Kashmir Premier League is going to start. Yeah, Kashmir Premier League is going to start. So the government started doing events and things in which the activity starts. Allowed restaurant to work outside in an outdoor. Told all the municipality and CDA to please allow the restaurants to occupy the footpaths and things that where they can place. Right. So uh, I think uh, we are going there. Um, uh, yes. And then uh, because people could not travel internationally, people had an opportunity. What other opportunity this COVID brought in? Pakistanis have seen Pakistan. Before, whenever they used to get an opportunity, they will just fly out. They will go to places which are like Dubai, Doha, Thailand, um, or Turkey. But in this year, they have gone to uh, places like uh, Naran, Kagan, uh, Burban, Muzaffarabad. So they they actually, there were certain fam certain uh, number of Pakistanis who got blessed by going and seeing what Pakistan has to offer. True. Yeah. So, so the belief in Pakistan and its tourism has actually has been more strengthened than before. Sir, uh, thank you for enlightening this Pakistan, the inside tourism in Pakistan. Uh, now, the, the, after the business side, not the human side, and this question is very critical. And I need a very, uh, very cogent answer. Sir, human resource management is a key to success of any organization. How many people, because Hashu Group is uh, being criticized, a lot of people have been uh, laid off during the COVID. Again, you rightly said cash flow challenges and the business was hit. And how did you cope with this situation to manage the support as a, as a CSR to the to people okay. of, uh, of the Hashu Group side? More than 800 people were laid off. What I, the, I am so happy. What, 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 do you, what do you say? I am happy that you asked this question. And because, uh, because on a social media, uh, uh, no logic makes sense. So yes. there was no point. So, okay. I'm happy that you asked. First of all, we have 4,900 employees. Okay. Tell me, if we could keep 4,100, why would we lay off 800? Right. So the answer is that these were not an employed with us. They were the third party employees who were on various contracts. So when we when and it was day in day out, for example, the cleaning guy who, who do the window cleaning, we could not keep his contract. So when we canceled his contract, he laid off his staff and he laid off his staff. The contract from PC, these people who used to clean windows in PC, but no more uh, cleaning the mar marble polishing staff, the fumigation staff. So there are many outsourced services. Then there were these painters and polishers who we, we did needed it because so they did it. We also did a very conscious exercise, and I must tell you that. You see, then many other competitors from uh, Hashu Group, they actually, to keep their goodwill going, they were not paying salaries, but they were also not asking employees to go. So the employees were dried off of cash. We came to understand that there were certain benefits that the staff can only get when he is no more with the company, provident fund. Gratuity, uh, one month, um, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, advance payment. We wanted these people to get that money so that they can survive. And there were certain positions, we are all coming back. And this was a commitment for all those positions. And you see that you go and look at that. Whoever, whenever the situation is getting bad, all these people are coming back. These are the people could have stayed without pay for long for, and, and there would have been no cap. But we take, took a conscious decision of giving them those benefits which were end service benefits. Otherwise, we could have saved the cash flow. We could have said, sorry, you can continue. And people were ready to stay without pay. And, and uh, so the, the overall situation uh, which social media has created, 
out of certain uh, um, um, disgruntled staff or our ex employees who had left because of many reason it they found it an opportunity to rubbish us but it's okay it's all right we are we are a very um, a very aware uh, social organization we have got hashu foundation we actually went through hashu foundation and did lot of work socially and uh, and nobody highlighted that work but everybody talked about it and i do understand when somebody loses the livelihood it is an individual who loses it so you cannot just look at the overall situation you look at the life of that particular individual and yes there were individuals whose livelihood was compromised for a while right and we are very committed that anybody who because of covid we have uh, um, taken the contract or we are giving back the contract to the same vendor so that they can bring in the same people the, uh, to get this sorted out sir one ingredient of a success for a ceo is to be empathetic empathy and emotional intelligence the key to success for absolutely CEO, for a leader yes sir my question is uh, what the empathy and this you you uh, actually you are uh, an emotional intelligence you are exercising in managing this human resource situation second sabse pehle is the communication um, you have to communicate with your staff for the reason for doing things and i tell you what all senior management including murtaza hashwani myself and all we all worked at a 50% cut salary we 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 put in all the efforts all our other senior associates who were at a director level they actually contributed by 25% cut into their salaries so that we can continue to make sure that the people who are certain line and above should not be affected so we have tried our level best and don't forget be it ceo be it the directors they all have the families to run they all have the school uh, uh, um, uh, fees to pay for kids and all that so we came back and we contributed 50% every month out of our salary we took a cut our senior management which is directors and above they volunteered for a 25% cut in their salary all that pocket that was created was going to the associates who are below certain salary bracket which we feel that they need that money for the livelihood and there were no deduction done at their end and they were neither laid off many organizations when they make people work from home some of them even exhausted the their um, uh, 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 benefits like um, uh, leaves and all that we haven't done that Sir. i mean we have been paying despite people were not coming to the office i got paid in the days when when work from home was going on sir hasib uh, sir where do you see the trajectory of growth in the next uh, 2021 and uh, 2022 the things will really uh, gain gain the momentum i i think pa pa pakistan would recover from this the hospitality side i'm yes. talking of would recover faster than anybody else i i am very hopeful and i believe in almighty that all those people who have got risk attached to all organization allah will help us and pakistan has been helped by almighty because the way the covid has created a havoc in rest of the world pakistan has been safe touch wood allah kare nazar na lage this would this would continue uh, from the 15th of september we are we are seeing that the situations would be starting coming back and i can tell you ajaz um, uh, the hospitality in pakistan beyond june july would recover better than any other part of the world such short few questions last uh, hasib gurdesi what are the coping strategies of stress and jab gussa aata hai anger or pressure jab aate hain idhar se daaye baaye se how do you manage coping strategy of hasib gurdesi this will also pass this is one of the <laughs> movies that has that has taught out with us the three idiots everything passes it will pass yeah it will pass <laughs> and uh, well. if if or imam ali alaihi salam in in his najul balagha says and when the good times comes be humble and when the bad time comes have a faith it will also pass so that these are few principles that one has to work with now anger is a human emotion you can you cannot say you don't get angry you don't get disappointed this is an emotion but reaction to that emotion is in your hand yes yeah it's is is uh, uh, um, and and uh, that's that's how that's how it is you need to have belief and you need to have uh, if you have a belief about certain things you have a philosophy about life philosophy at work trust me it helps you and and if you keep um, considering that 
um, that you are not the only one in this pain. The others are sharing that the, the same pain and all that. It passes. Sir, uh, uh, during the COVID, have you seen, I think, a uh, few good books, read the books and uh, uh, watched the movies. Could think that you can tell me two movies that really you inspired you, sir. Okay. Ek to hai ji, um, um, I have this... Um, uh, move my cheese oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, then there was uh, yeah and uh, uh, one minute manager I have read and then uh, blue ocean strategy which oh, Mr. Yes. Murtaza Hashwani has actually wo hai. We, we have actually made the blue ocean strategy book as part of our senior management philosophy that when a new senior yeah. manager comes in we present him there uh, to read it and I think COVID has shown people a blue ocean strategy. Wow. That's a great revelation. Yeah. Sir, in movies, what do you like? Sir, in movies, I have movies, I have a season, a season, a season, मैंने अब तक बोलता हूँ ना ना मैंने अब तक बोलना देखी है और ना मैं देख सकता हूँ मैंने I had watched the Queen to then I have also watched Amazing Grace is one of a very very nice movie in the time of Lincoln when he he declared the the coloured people not to be the slaves. Aga Saab, I'll call you back. I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back, sir. Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace is a is a is a very and then the blind queen. and the Queen was the uh, 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 serial, and also there's another lovely movie, The Blind Side. Blind Side. These are the movies. The, this is what I I've seen many, but these are the one that has created an impact on you on your life, the way it works and things like that. Sir, second last question. Any regret? Any fear in life? Abhi tak. Fear to hai the fear of God and fear of. Uh, uh, not known that whether whatever you are doing would bring in reward to you or whatever you feel you are doing uh, um, as a charity would is, is it a charity or you are doing it for for the personal gains and things like that so there is there is that fear that are we spending the life the way it should have been have we contributed or we have not contributed you look at that and when you see people are contributing more than you then you feel that you have left behind in contribution so that's 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 definitely a fear Idea of happiness. Happy. We stay happy. I mean, in 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 every uh, in in uh, I mean, uh, you 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 should connect to the people who loves you, and you should you should give them time, and make sure the happiness comes from your own first family. It does not come from any other, and your friends, a sincere friends, who who are not your friends just because you are a COO or this and that. The friends who are your class fellows, who don't care who you are what you are, when you were, those who, who knew you as a Hasib and you know them who they were. So they bring in happiness and they, they also bring you health and, uh, and also golf. I mean, that's, that's very important. That particular game has <laughs> led to <laughs> you. Yeah. Not only me, uh, but, but all my, uh, those colleagues and friends who play golf, uh, we, we have that blessing from Allah. So that's, that, that's what it Sir, is. Sir, my last question. Bache jo hai, baha zyada berozgar ho. Lot of hmm. uh, youth, or maybe your people are, in the university students are uh, seeking education, uh, jobs. Hmm. What is the message of optimism and hope for the young, young people? Sir, the thing is that, uh, uh, the, uh, the message is that every challenge brings opportunities. They must also see that they may need to diversify themselves. They need to see what businesses COVID has improved. They must invest themselves into those fields. For example, there are many, many fields in Pakistan which we have not even yet started. Let it be uh, um, uh, uh, this uh, artificial intelligence. People are, uh, have, have no situation. Cyber crimes. There are many fields. And then uh, uh, health and uh, health related food industry. They have all have flourished. Telecommunication has flourished more than anything. Look at look at the technology. What what to play? Lot of our business has been taken over by Zoom and Skype and all that. So our young people should must understand if they had certain direction at certain time, and at that direction there is a dead end. They must take a U-turn and take another direction. They cannot keep on hitting that dead end just because if somebody was in hospitality and they see hospitality will take a while. 
diversify yourself into telecommunication, into health, into many other uh, opportunities that has come on. Look at the, the way the construction is improving. Look at the real estate, the way it is improving. So I, th I think the message is keep your eyes open, keep your options open, diversify yourself. You can be anything. It's not just that you have taken certain education, you are stuck with it. Just use your brain and mind. Um, improve your uh, outlook and uh, inshallah Allah will help at the end of the day. Sir, uh, closing remarks mein koi uh, ya Faiz, Ghalib, Iqbal ya Nachudul Balaga se koi ek line to wrap up the whole session sir. Okay. Koi dil ke paas hai. Ke jahaz ye zindagi ki philosophy of life hai meri. Yes. Imam Ali was asked what is life. Okay. He, he took the sand in his hand and he blew it and said, this is what life is. I think this is what life is. And COVID has proved it. Oof. Ek zara hai benisha. Hala ke rakh diya kuri dunia. Ham saari dunia kehte hain, woh asra feel aega, soor phunke ga. Samaj nahi aati thi, soor hai kya. It's just, just, just a matter. You can't even see, you can't see even a virus. Can you? This is affecting everybody. So that's, that's it is. Life is temporary and, and get the best you can. Be nice to people and don't have regrets that you have broken the hearts of those who were dependent on you. Imam Ali alayhi salam ka jo farman hai aur logon ki umeedon ka tumse wabasta hona tum jalla ki rahmat hai. Wow. Thank you very much. Aapne Haseeb sahab ki ek badi inspirational ek closing jumla suna. Ek jumla mein Haseeb ka dedi ko dedicate karke ja raha hon. Inno ne jab kaya ke jaas is COVID mein sab se jo ek kinti chiz si ki wa faith tha. Wo faith ki wajah se Allah ki zaat pe to faith ki upar Haseeb aap ke liek dedicated hai jumla. Ke kehte hain agar dast tak dung dast te yakin se ارے در تو کیا دیوار بھی کھل جائے کہیں سے ہمیں معلوم ہے کہیں موجود ہے دنیا ارے ہم وہم بھی کرتے ہیں تو کرتے ہیں یقین سے تینکیو ویو ویری بچ سی او ٹوڈے ٹی وی کے اوپر حسیب کر دے دی جازہ سار آشو گروہ کے پیج پہ اس سے ٹاپ کو دیکھے گا اور اپنا فیڈ بیک دیجئے گا